the Holy Trinity or maybe just the Trinity in the exam paper. Let's have a look. So Catholics believe one God but three persons, Father, Son, Holy Spirit and they're all equal because the Nicene Creed tell us they're equal. Father and Son are consubstantial, consubstantial mean they're made of the same stuff and the Holy Spirit proceeds, it's like breath, God's Spirit, it proceeds from Father and Son. So the Holy Spirit is equal to Father and Son. Christians believe that love flows between Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And so if we believe that, then we need to show love to each other. We show love to God, we show love to each other by being kind to each other, showing respect to each other, giving to charity, all that is love. Can you believe it? The battery ran out, so um, everything cut. So it really helps uh, to believe in God as Trinity because we think, okay, Father, God is loving, he's protecting. Son, we can relate to him and so we understand God better. And thirdly, God is spirit, Holy Spirit, so he guides us. So we understand God much better as being Trinity. Loving, caring, protective as Father, we can relate to him as Son and Spirit, okay, They're guiding us. Right, so how does belief in the Holy Trinity affect the way we worship? Well, very obviously, we make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. That means we're putting ourselves in the right mindset before we pray. You go into a church and you bless yourself with holy water, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, again, influenced by the um, Holy Trinity. We sing, I don't sing, but we sing in church and we sing the praises of Father, Son and Holy Spirit during Holy Mass. We baptize babies in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So belief in the Holy Spirit really affects the way we worship, the way we uh, pray. Now, source of wisdom and authority is the Nicene Creed because it says Father and Son are consubstantial. Um, the Holy Spirit proceeds from Father and the Son. And the Bible also tells us that Jesus the Father and the Holy Spirit were present at the baptism of Jesus. Obviously Jesus is being baptized, the Father's voice comes from heaven and the Holy Spirit appears as a dove. And then at creation, Father, Son and Holy Spirit are present. It shows their unity, they're united, not man united. And they are Father speaking the word of creation, Jesus being his word creating and the Holy Spirit hovering over the water at the beginning of time. Right, what questions might you get? Three mark question, outline three persons of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit in three short sentences, please. Um, two ways in which belief in the Trinity influence Catholic worship. Yep, we make the sign of the cross, Father, Son and Holy Spirit to get us ready for prayer. And then also uh, we baptize in the name of Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Another question, four marks, two ways in which belief in the Trinity help Catholics to understand God better. Well, if we believe in the Holy Trinity, we believe God is Father, so it helps us understand God better. He is loving, He's protective, He's caring as Father. We understand God better because we see Him in Jesus Christ, so we can relate to Him better, we understand God better, we feel a closer connection with Him. And I think that's it.